more about Ian. It is now a hurricane again, as Scott said, and even though it's approaching South Carolina, it certainly hit Florida as quickly as flooding wash out parts of Florida. The catastrophic water levels have dropped, revealing just a clear picture of the devastation left behind. At last check, 19 people are dead. That number is likely to grow. So Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones is live in the newsroom now, breaking down the state of things in some of the hardest hit areas. Good morning, Marcy. Good morning. That's absolutely right. It's currently estimated that 2.6 million people in Florida are currently without power. Ian is likely to be one of the deadliest hurricanes in the state's history. At this time, Ian remains a Category 1 storm off of the Florida's east coast, and it's forecasted to move to South Carolina next. Rescue workers have been working around the clock, still trying to find people trapped in homes. Paramedics use stretchers to get these nursing home residents in Orlando out of danger. The storm came ashore as a Category 4 hurricane, one of the strongest to ever hit the U.S., causing catastrophic damage along the southwest coast in areas like Sanibel, Cape Coral, and Fort Myers. Now thousands of volunteers, rescue workers, and members of the Coast Guard continue their efforts. Got hit with really really biblical storm surge and it washed away roads, it washed away structures that were not uh, new and, and could withstand that. President Biden plans to visit both Florida and Puerto Rico when the conditions allow, adding FEMA aid is on its way. In the newsroom, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.